Hey everybody, it's Marvina. I wanted to welcome you to my mini angel Q&A. Today my presentation is about the pineal gland and specifically decalcification of the pineal gland. So it's going to be a short video and I think a really good way for you all to get the most out of it is to just create the intention along with your angels to grab on to a couple of the ideas that can really help you to move forward with clearing out the different organs in the brain and especially the pineal gland in this situation. So the pineal gland is one of the most powerful psychic sensors that we have and in the metaphysical world it's known as King Pineal and it works with the pituitary gland who is known as Queen Pituitary. And what we want to do is to get them activated and cleared and decalcified and purified and optimized so that they can begin the cross-talking experience. And that is whenever a whole new world can open up for you as far as your ability to perceive uh, what the events are that are going on around you, what your options are, maybe what is the best way for you to move forward, but also to explore the higher dimensions and the spiritual world and to be in a better position to communicate with your own angel team, with your um, master teacher, spirit guide, and even with your ancestors and other realms. So these are really powerful organs in the brain and unfortunately through some of our lifestyle choices like our poor lifestyle choices the pineal gland can create this um, situation where it has this calcification in there and I don't know about you but if you've ever heard like a little bit of grating or rumbling in the brain uh, some people will say you know that person has rocks for brains and that means that their pineal gland has deteriorated and it's got calcification in it and they're not able to use the organs in the brain to think things through to perceive events to create to manifest to visualize and to really optimize themselves so that they can continue their soul journey in the most powerful way. So it is not really an easy thing to do to decalcify the pineal gland, but it's definitely doable. And everybody has a little bit of a different way that they go about um, working through this, but what I think is a great way to go about it is to think about detoxing and purifying and then rejuvenating the pineal gland. So the pineal gland is um, one of those areas that breath work is super important and particularly a great tool when you use the right kind of uh, yoga breathing exercises I really like the Hatha yoga approach combined with visualization and um, also incorporating the kundalini energy. One of the great ways that, um, that helped me to really activate the pineal gland is to do a combination of breathing exercises with a four count beat and you do the alternate breath. and. I don't know if you've ever explored that, but if you've watched some of my videos, I talk about them. But basically what you're doing is you're blocking off one side of the nostril and you're inhaling. And when you want to work with um, purifying and detoxing the pineal gland, I like to uh, use, visualize the color of lavender. And as I'm taking the inhale breath, I visualize a lavender color like moving into the nose and going straight up into the very center of your forehead into the third eye and just 
intend, this is a key thing, is intend before you start your meditation that you're going to use these Hatha Yoga breathing techniques to purify and decalcify the pineal gland and then use the color along with the breath to oxygenate that organ and what happens what I also like to add on and I talk about this in a great more detail in my psychic summer school that's coming up and if you're interested in learning a lot more about this check out the link I'll put that in the description but one of the great ways that you can add the kundalini and the kundalini is like the fire the serpent fire that sits at the base of our spine and whenever we get that energy moving and we do that again through intention through specific meditations visualizations intending uh, just create the desire to what I think is a great approach is create the desire to activate your best and highest natural gifts and talents and to purify the organs in the body, especially the brain, through oxygenation and meditation techniques that will help you to do that. So one of the ways that you can enhance the Hatha Yoga breathing techniques is to draw that breath down into the spine and just imagine the lavender breath just kind of circling down at the base of your spine and then visualize the breath going the lavender breath going up the back all the way up through the different chakras and straight into the third eye into the pineal gland and then just see that lavender turning into a really deep purple and then what I like to do is just imagine it just kind of circulating around in your third eye just see it going like in a clockwise direction and then just let it sort of um, evaporate through the crown chakra and then you take another breath and you inhale and you imagine the lavender color going into the third eye and then just drop it down all the way just think about it going just straight down a tube into the base of your spine into the base chakra and just imagine it swirling around and waking up the kundalini serpent and then slowly coming back up through the spinal cord through all of the chakras and just drifting up and just imagine it fiery and just a lavender a sacred fiery flame coming up into the third eye and then swirling around in the pineal gland and once you start doing this meditation exercise for a while the kundalini energy because of its fiery nature it helps to decalcify anything in the pineal gland that has kind of gone stale or gone bad and it starts to um, make what they call um, it's kind of like a liquid they call it like a liquid fire and then that moves into the pituitary gland and it's kind of like a oil an oily substance and as it moves into the pituitary gland it's like um, reaching out to your partner and so then the king Pinel and the queen pituitary they can have this more of a connection and they can interface with one another and begin to uh, have what I like to call a cross-talking experience and then they they both bring their qualities and their attributes and you have access to more of a balanced uh, left brain and right brain experience so it's super powerful it is um, it's a really um, important thing for us to activate in order 
for us to move forward with our soul's progression and kind of moving up into higher levels of spiritual awareness and spiritual consciousness and we can have a much bigger broader and more meaningful and fulfilling spiritual experience it is completely worth your time there um, there's a lot of reasons that the pineal gland can um, get kind of off balance and um, become uh, calcified and it's through maybe things that we eat and drink we may go through a period of time where we're making really unhealthy choices with what we're doing and even um, what we're thinking of so when we want to uh, turn the tables and begin to purify you also want to consider incorporating uh, a healthier lifestyle uh, what um, you know eat right think right do the right things and as your you start to purify and detox, detox all of the different levels of your life then your physical body can begin to support your your um, higher self and you get a whole lot more opportunity to interact with the spiritual realms and to pull from those pull imagination pull creativity pull ideas that you can weave into your day-to-day -day life that you can um, kind of create your dreams while you're here and be in a better position to touch the world with beauty there are um, just so many reasons that we want to purify the different organs in the brain in the body so that they can um, they can really do what they do best on a higher level instead of us just getting by in life there are other uh, tools that we can use that help to stimulate the pineal gland and I think um, music is a great tool uh, using some really specific uh, binaural beats like the um, 936 936 Hertz there are several different uh, videos that you can find on YouTube that have a like a meditation and it's a continual binaural beat and they're they have them at different Hertz levels and each one of those they resonate to different chakras different organs in the body but the 936 is a great one for the pineal gland for just stimulating it and kind of pulling it out of the 3d and positioning you so that you can activate fifth dimensional activated merkaba fifth dimensional activated 12 chakras and fifth dimensional uh, DNA as well and all of this enables you to use your intuition better to use your psychic senses not just for you so that you can uh, accomplish your goals but so that you are in a better position to touch the world with beauty and really make a difference in your community both on the small picture but also on, in the big picture so when you um, if you feel a little bit kind of spun out about how to go about doing this just create the intention to activate your natural gifts and talents to the best and highest degree that is possible for you to attain in this uh, particular soul journey and if you create that intention and you're open to how uh, to go about doing that your own angel team will give you the little guidance the encouragement the inspiration and even the ideas about different ways that you can make that dream come true but you know what you are the one that is the action part of that so we have to take action 
on their inspiration. They can't do it for us, but they can give you the guides, the guidance, the ideas, uh, the ways that you might be able to uh, use your meditation and enhance the meditation that you're doing or completely change up a meditation. There are so many different ways that we can use meditations, but not all of them have uh, the, the necessary uh, ways that we can activate the pineal gland. So we want to be very uh, mindful about why we're doing what we're doing and how we're using our tools like our meditations, uh, maybe the books that we read, the different people that we follow, the different tips that we take to heart and that we follow. There are just a lot of different ways that you can accomplish your goals. I do have a little psychic summer school coming up and if you're interested, you can check out the link. I'm going to put it in the description, but I'm going to address a lot of this in my summer psychic school along with some clearing and some activation uh, meditation path workings. Path workings are super cool and they, um, they're they just a great tool that you can use to really um, get out of the 3D and expand your consciousness in a really good way. So I wanted to thank you all for hopping on today and if you have questions about my summer psychic school or about activating the pineal gland, just put them in the comments and I will do my best to read through them. Sometimes for whatever reason, I don't know why Facebook does it this way, but I can't find all of the comments. Like they just show me um, like a, a couple of them, but uh, you can also email me or message me uh, here on Facebook if you have questions about my summer psychic school. But I look forward to uh, hearing from you all and hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. I'm Marvina. Bye-bye.